Recently, I've had a lot of requests to make videos about more affordable watches. So with this video and what's going on everybody, my name is Teddy Baldassar. I wanted to address this very request and make a video taking a look at 15 great watches around or less than $100. So as always, I'm gonna be leaving links to all of these watches for you if you wanna go ahead and buy these watches. Feel free to go ahead, follow those links in the description. Also, we're gonna be touching on four different categories. One being sports watches, next being dress watches, then we're gonna look at some everyday watches, and then finally some digital and I'd say exercise watches that can be beaten around a little bit. So guys, without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, so I also got a lot of requests to start doing wristwatch checks. What I'm wearing right now is an Seiko 5 SNK803. Uh, this is the cream dial version from the SNK800 series uh, and probably my favorite of that bunch. So we'll give this watch some love later in the video, but let's first start with sports watches. So first up, we have a watch from Casio, but we're not gonna be looking at a digital watch. We're gonna be looking at a dive watch. And that watch is the Casio Duro MDV 1061A. So this watch actually can be found for under $50. And for being a dive watch with water resistant of 200 meters, you really can't do better at this price range. It does have a coarse movement, but it is a truly great watch and a great starter for somebody that wants to get in the world of watches, uh, especially someone that wants to get into the world of divers. Next, we have a, a watch from Seiko that I don't think gets a lot of love. And that is the Seiko SNZ H57. So this SNZ line is certainly overlooked in a lot of ways. When someone thinks of an entry level sports Seiko, they're thinking the XKX line all the way. However, this is a line that I think presents some pretty great value. These watches sure are not ISO certified or have depth ratings of that of this SKX, but for half the price and with a very tasteful look, these are watches that we need to take a closer look at. They retail just a shade over $100 and can be found used for under that. They do have a 42 millimeter case in most instances, or this specific watch does, and are water resistant up to 100 meters and are automatically powered by Seiko's caliber 7S36 movement. In my last video, I requested what are some great watches that you guys like under $100, and this was one that was requested a whole lot, and that was the Vostok Amphibia. So this is definitely a quirky watch. These are Russian-made diver watches, and they have very solid depth ratings and build qualities for the price. If I'm being honest with myself, I don't think these are really for me, but I do think they are a lot of fun. There is a, a myriad of dial options and colors, some going from very funky and others being a little bit more conservative. Uh, these watches can be found well under $100, have a 200 meters water resistant rating, a 40 millimeter case, and are automatically powered by their True 416B movement. Next, we have a watch brand that honestly, I think gets a lot of hate. And I think I have used them in the butt of a couple jokes before too, to be honest. But when we're looking at this watch, I don't think you can really hate it. And that is the Invicta Pro Diver Automatic. So I think this brand certainly gets overlooked because let's be honest, they make some really awful, distasteful, gaudy watches in different price ranges. However, for under $100, you don't have many options for true divers. And this watch totally looks like a Submariner and probably falls under the classification as a homage. However, with 200 meters water resistant rating, a 40 millimeter case, an automatic NH35A Seiko movement that comes in at $80. I don't, I don't know if we can hate on this, guys. I mean, in fact, I think that I would really strongly recommend this watch, to be honest with you, for $100, under $100. This is a great option. Now from diver sports watches, jumping over to dress watches. And this is more of my bread and butter. So first up, we have the Seiko 5 SNKL23. This is a watch that is, was well under $100, but in the last year or two, it has really entered the spotlight as a great watch under $100, and that has caused the prices to rise above $100. So it is slightly above that, but you, when you can find it, you can find it around this price. It has a beautiful dial, slight loom markers on its pointed hands. 
It is just a great looking watch without a doubt and has a great form of elegance to it that you can dress up without question. It comes in with a 38 millimeter case, is powered by a Seiko 21 joule automatic movement and is water resistant up to 30 meters. All right, so I'm technically cheating on this one because this watch is over $100 and it's not a specific watch that I'm naming. It's really just a whole line of watches. And that is the Orient Bambino series. So the Orient Bambino, there are a lot of different versions and uh, generations of these watches. Um, however, at the very core of it, they're all fantastic options for you to go for. In addition to that, uh, the only real difference is some of the movements are hacking and non hacking. And for those of you that don't know what that means, it means when you do pull out the crown and try to set the time that the second hand freezes for you to set really exact points and moments in time when you're setting your watch. Uh, that being said, these watches uh, come in with a 40 millimeter case, possibly my only complaint with these watches because they do have a very vintage-like aesthetic. It, it, for me, I feel like it needs to be a smaller watch, but I, I have small wrists. I'm probably speaking from my own vantage point there. However, they are automatically powered by in-house movements, which is absurd for the price point that they are just being over a little bit, uh, over $100, and have some of really the best value in the market with some beautiful, tasteful designs. Next, we have the Cadison C8. 097. Now, these are watches that have gotten some love as of late in the YouTube watch community. Uh, just One More Watch recently did a video about these, and I, I do think that they have earned the spotlight that they have been put in uh, as of late. When I originally heard of this watch, you could find it under $100 nearly everywhere. However, with its growing popularity online, it has become increasingly difficult to find. That said, this watch demonstrates some great value regardless. It comes in around $100, is water resistant up to 50 meters, and has a 40 millimeter case, as well as being automatically powered by a Miyota 9015. And for those of you that are not familiar with this movement, it is a movement developed by Citizen and is a very solid caliber. I, I've recently seen this being featured in a lot of watches that are literally asking for 10 times the amount that this watch is demanding on the open market. So. You're getting, you're getting some good value here without a doubt. And I think it's a pretty tasteful watch for the most part. Now jumping from uh, dressy situations to more casual situations. And the first casual watch that we're gonna be looking at every day watch is the Seiko SNK 795. This watch comes in well under $100 from Seiko's five line. It comes in with a 37 millimeter case, has water resistant up to 30 meters, and is automatic again, powered by a Seiko Caliber 7S26 automatic movement. I wanted to include this watch because I think it offers incredible versatility. It is a watch you could get away with in a more formal attire, but also is right at home wearing it casually with a t-shirt and shorts. And that's where I think it feels most at home, to be perfectly frank. And now we have a watch that is being currently featured on my wrist. So I have my uh, Seiko SNK803 on my wrist. I I've really been loving this watch, but I wanna talk about the whole SNK800 series line. And the one that usually gets the most love is the 809. And there's really no surprise that I'm featuring this watch here. So this is really Seiko's first flagship automatic under $100. Uh, so this series uh, comes in several different dial options. They also have this Flieger military type aesthetic down. And with their loom filled hands, a tasteful reverse lollipop seconds hand and a day date complication on a solid matte colored dial, these watches certainly look more expensive than the 50 to $100 price point that they demand. They come in with a 38 millimeter case, are 30 meters water resistant, and again, are automatically powered by Seiko's 7S26 movement. Now we have another more obscure brand, and this brand is from China, so if you are somebody that hates everything from China, just go ahead and skip this part of the video. But this is the Guanqin GJ16034. Now this watch is made in China, like I expressed, but for $60, hold up, you are getting a watch that is automatically powered by a Seiko NH36 automatic movement with a day date functionality as well as a sapphire crystal for what, $60? It has a sunburst dial and comes in black or silver. And I think this is just a really tasteful watch for under $70. So as I've mentioned on my channel several times, I'm always giving Timex love, especially in this price range. There's probably 10 different Timexes that I could list here, um, but I'm gonna just name some newer ones or ones that I have not mentioned on my channel before. First, we have the Timex Expedition Scout Midsize. 
So this watch comes in just above $60, comes in several different dial options and colors. It comes in with a size that I absolutely love, 36 millimeters. For some of you, that might be way too small, but for me, I prefer the more vintage size watches rather than the modern day, large oversized uh, watches that we often see. This watch comes in with Timex's patented Indiglo and is water resistant up to 50 meters and is powered by a quartz movement. Next from Timex, we have their MK1 steel at 40 millimeters. These watches retail right at $100. They have several different dial options as well. And the, I think the reason why I like these watches is they look very similar to one of my favorite long jeans watches, and that's the Long Jeans Railroad. Just like the aesthetic of these watches a lot. And I think Timex just owns this classic Americana type look that I, I don't think is ever gonna go out of style. And for the price point, I, I think Timex again is delivering some pretty solid value here. So now we finally have some digital watches. And I've, I've actually never talked about digital watches on this channel, which is kind of surprising, but let's give them some love here today. And when you're looking at under $100, there's some great value here. So first we have a classic, the Casio F91W1. This watch is incredible for a few reasons, but none greater than its $10 price point. I actually have this watch and still use it regularly for working out and timing intervals when I'm working out. It is of course a coarse powered movement, has a 33 millimeter case. These watches are 30 meters water resistant. However, I've heard many stories of people doing crazy water activities with these things. I wouldn't recommend it, but do what you want. For $10, I think that's the beauty of these watches. They're meant to just get banged around and have a lot of fun with on the wrist. Next, we have another classic from Casio, and that is their Casio G-Shock DW5600. So this is the big brother kind of of the uh, F91. Uh, this watch retails just over $40 and has some great specs for a digital watch. It has a water resistance rating of 200 meters and can handle jumping in the water just fine and is incredibly rugged. It also does have a larger wrist presence, but 45 millimeters, it wears much smaller than that and I can, to att I can attest to that because I have worn this watch on my wrist in several occasions. And now rounding out our list is the Casio W800H1AB. So if you're looking for maybe the best value out of the digital watches that I presented, this could be the one that takes the lead here. So this watch is quartz powered, has a 37 by 34 millimeter case and is water resistant up to 100 meters. However, the best thing about this watch is it's only $14, so only being $4 more than the F91 and having a 100 meters water resistant rating, you could argue that this is the best value there is when you're thinking about a watch, maybe in general. All right guys, well, what do you think of this list? Of course, I can't name every watch in this price range. It's, it's a very vast just range of watches that you can buy. There's a lot of crap in this range, but there's also a lot of great value if you know where to look. So leave some comments down below about your favorite watches in this range. I've been thinking a lot about making some more in-depth reviews of watches in this price range, this really affordable price range, because I get a lot of requests for it. So if you guys support that and think I should do it, Leave comments about that as well, love to see them. All right guys, stay really quick, but be sure to subscribe, like, also hit that bell icon so you know when I release content. But before you go, I actually have a request of all of you. So I have gotten some requests to maybe change the name, and I've also been thinking about it personally, of this channel. So changing the name of the channel to something else that I think better describes the content that I create outside of my name. First, I'd like to hear what you guys think of this. And if you do think it's a good idea to change the name of this channel, I have a form down below where you could submit names or potential names uh, of this channel going forward. I'll take a look at them. And if I determine that you know there's a name in there that I think could be best, I will give that individual a, a free watch. So that watch has not been determined yet, but I do wanna start doing some more giveaways and engaging with you guys more. Uh, but I think this could be a really cool first step and also in allowing you guys to kind of have a, uh, a say in this journey here. So fill out the form if you want to have some say in potentially naming this channel. Um, so giving you guys a little bit of power there. But guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time, be well and I'll see you all very soon.